Birdwatching enthusiasts, prepare to spread your wings as we embark on an avian adventure delving into the captivating world of herons and cranes. These two waterfowl species, often mistaken for distant relatives due to their similar physical attributes, have distinct differences that make them unique in their own right. Despite their shared grayish way, imposing size, long legs, and necks, herons and cranes belong to different taxonomic orders, setting them apart at a fundamental level. So, let's sort through the skies of knowledge and explore the top 10 key differences that distinguish these elegant creatures. Head to head, cranes crown vs. Heron's feathers. Picture this, a bird beauty pageant where the contestants flaunt their unique headgear. In the world of cranes and herons, it's a head to head showdown, literally. The crane strides in with a bold, bare, and red colored head, a daring choice that screams confidence. On the flip side, the heron waltzes in with a fully feathered crown, embracing a more classic and regal look. It's a fashion face-off in the avian world, and each species has its own feathered flair that sets it apart. When it comes to identifying these waterfowl in the wild, the head is the uppermost feature that catches the eye. The crane's distinctive head, devoid of feathers, is a stark contrast to the heron's elegant and fully feathered noggin. This distinction becomes particularly apparent when observing them in flight, creating a visual spectacle for bird enthusiasts and casual observers alike. In essence, the head serves as the canvas upon which these birds express their individuality. The crane's bold choice of a featherless head adds a touch of audacity to its appearance, while the heron opts for a more traditional and refined aesthetic with its fully feathered head. It's a testament to the diversity and creativity found in nature's design, where even the smallest details contribute to the overall charm and uniqueness of each species. So, the next time you find yourself in the presence of these magnificent waterfowl, take a moment to appreciate the distinctive headwear that sets cranes and herons apart. It's not just about survival, it's a showcase of avian elegance and style that adds a layer of intrigue to the captivating world of birdwatching. Neck and neck in flight, cranes stretch vs. Herons curve. In the enchanting world of aerial ballet, cranes and herons take center stage with their mesmerizing flight patterns. Picture this, a crane stretching its neck forward, a graceful extension that adds a touch of elegance to its airborne performance. On the other hand, a heron takes flight with a curved neck, creating a visual symphony of swoops and swirls across the sky. The neck, often an underappreciated part of a bird's anatomy, becomes a key player in the dance of these waterfowl. When in flight, cranes extend their necks straight forward, showcasing a deliberate and poised movement. This elongation of the neck becomes a defining feature, creating a striking silhouette against the backdrop of the sky. In contrast, herons opt for a more fluid and artistic approach. Their necks curve into an S shape adding a sense of grace and agility to their aerial maneuvers. As they soar through the air, the curvature of their necks becomes a signature move, distinguishing them from their green counterparts. Observing these avian performers in flight is not just a visual spectacle, it's an opportunity to appreciate the nuances of their aerial choreography. The crane's straightforward stretch and the heron's elegant curve paint a vivid picture of nature's diversity, where even the seemingly simple act of flying becomes a canvas for avian expression. So, the next time you find yourself gazing at the sky, keep an eye out for these winged artists. Whether it's the elongated stretch of a crane or the graceful curve of a heron, each flight is a testament to the poetry of motion in the avian world. The size game, cranes towering stature vs. Heron's wingspan drama. In the avian realm, size matters, and when it comes to cranes and herons, they play the size game with flair. Imagine a wingspan showdown, a competition where cranes and herons spread their majestic wings, each vying for the title of the most impressive waterfowl. Let's talk height first. Cranes, with their towering presence, snatch the trophy for being the taller of the two. The crane's stature is characterized by a majestic height, making it a prominent figure in the avian landscape. On the other hand, herons bring the wingspan drama. Picture a goliath heron with its wings gracefully extended, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. It's not just about height, it's about the grandeur of wingspan that adds a theatrical touch to their presence. Even among similarly sized species, the differences are apparent. 
The crane, generally taller with a shorter neck and beak, exudes a sense of stateliness. In contrast, herons, with their impressive wingspans, showcase a different kind of majesty. The dwarf bittern, a heron species, might be petite at 10 to 12 inches long, but its wingspan adds a touch of drama to its diminutive size. Let's delve into the specifics. Whooping cranes, a crane species, boast a wingspan of 6 feet, a testament to their aerial prowess. In the heron corner, goliath herons spread their wings over a range of 6 to 7 feet, adding an extra dimension to their airborne elegance. It's a wingspan showdown where each species brings its own unique flair to the avian runway. In the grand tapestry of nature, size becomes a defining characteristic. Cranes stand tall, exuding a regal air, while herons unfold their wings, casting a majestic shadow over their watery domains. The size game is more than a competition. It's a celebration of diversity in the avian kingdom. Dining preferences, cranes, the omnivorous foodies, vs. herons, the carnivorous connoisseurs. When it's time for a feathered feast by the water, cranes and herons reveal their distinct culinary preferences. Picture this, a crane indulging in a buffet of both animal and plant matter, showcasing its status as the omnivorous foodie of the duo. On the flip side, a heron, with a discerning palate, opts for a strictly carnivorous diet, focusing exclusively on aquatic delicacies. Cranes, the gourmands of the waterfowl world, traverse both land and water in search of delectable morsels. Their omnivorous diet includes a diverse array of offerings, from small animals to plant matter. It's a culinary adventure that reflects their adaptable nature and ability to thrive in various habitats. Whether it's a tasty insect or a succulent aquatic plant, the crane's palate knows no bounds. In the heron corner, we have carnivorous connoisseurs. Herons are specialists in the art of aquatic dining, with a menu exclusively dedicated to the bounty of the water. From fish to amphibians, their diet consists of the finest offerings that aquatic ecosystems provide. It's a focused and refined approach to dining that showcases their mastery of the watery domain. And let's not forget the family dinner dynamics. Cranes, true to their omnivorous nature, take their chicks on a culinary journey, introducing them to the wonders of both land and water. It's a family affair where the young ones get a taste of the diverse offerings nature has to offer. On the other wing, herons adopt a different strategy, bringing the food directly to their chicks. It's a lesson in parenting styles, with each species adding its unique flavor to the parenting palate. Taxonomic Thriller, Cranes Gruiformes vs. Herons Pelicaniformes. In the thrilling world of bird taxonomy, cranes and herons take center stage with their unique classifications. Picture this, a taxonomic thriller where each species has its own order and family, adding an element of intrigue to the avian narrative. Both cranes and herons belong to the class Aves, which encompasses all birds. However, once you dive deeper into their taxonomic journey, the differences become apparent. The crane, with its crane-like demeanor, falls under the order Gruiformes and the family Gruidae, which literally means, crane. It's a straightforward classification that aligns with the crane's regal presence and distinct characteristics. On the other wing, we have the heron, embracing a pelican-like aura in its taxonomic journey. The heron belongs to the order Pelicaniformes, which translates to pelican-like, and the family Ardiadae. With a whopping 72 species under its avian umbrella, the heron showcases diversity not just in appearance but also in its taxonomic classification. The taxonomic thriller unfolds as each species finds its place in the intricate web of avian classification. The crane, with its graceful stature and crane-like features, becomes a proud member of the Gruiformes order. Meanwhile, the heron, with its elegant and pelican-like demeanor, earns its spot in the Pelicaniformes order. For bird enthusiasts and taxonomic aficionados, this classification journey adds a layer of fascination to the avian experience. It's not just about observing birds in the wild, it's about understanding their place in the grand tapestry of avian diversity. The taxonomic thriller continues, with cranes and herons playing starring roles in this captivating avian saga. Symphony of Sound, Cranes Bugle vs. Heron's Croak. 
In the avian symphony of sounds, cranes and herons take center stage with their distinct forms. Picture this. A bird watcher's paradise where the air is filled with the melodious bugling of cranes and the croaking chorus of herons. It's a symphony of sound that adds a layer of auditory delight to the avian experience. First up, we have the crane, known for its rattling, loud bugle. Imagine the resonant call cutting through the air, a proclamation of presence that echoes across wetlands and open landscapes. The bugle is more than just a sound, it's a declaration, a communication tool that cranes use to convey their presence and maintain contact with their fellow feathered companions. On the other wing, we have the heron, with its distinctive croaking call. Picture the tranquil setting of a wetland, with herons adding their croaking notes to the natural soundtrack. The croak serves as a communication tool among herons, allowing them to convey messages and establish their presence in their watery habitats. The symphony of sound created by cranes and herons becomes a language of the wild, a communication network that adds depth to their social interactions. Whether it's the bugling bugle of cranes or the croaking chorus of herons, each species contributes its unique notes to the avian orchestra. For bird enthusiasts, identifying these calls becomes a thrilling endeavor, transforming bird watching into an auditory adventure. The bugle of cranes and the croak of herons become signature sounds that echo through marshes, wetlands, and open landscapes. It's a symphony of nature, where each note tells a story of the feathered inhabitants that grace these diverse ecosystems. Matters of the Heart Cranes Monogamy vs. Herons Changing Mates In the complex realm of avian romance, cranes and herons showcase contrasting approaches to matters of the heart. Picture this, a bird soap opera where cranes are the hopeless romantics, embracing monogamy for life, while herons navigate the intricate dance of changing mates. It's a tale of love and relationships, each species adding its own dramatic flair to the avian love story. First in the spotlight, we have the crane, the emblem of monogamy in the bird kingdom. Once cranes find their feathered soulmate, they stick together for life, a commitment that transcends seasons and spans the years. It's a love story that echoes with loyalty, as cranes navigate the journey of life side by side, creating a bond that withstands the tests of time. On the flip side, we have the heron, adopting a more flexible approach to matters of the heart. Unlike cranes, herons are not afraid to change mates, navigating the intricate dance of romance with a dynamic and ever-changing partner lineup. It's a bird soap opera where relationships evolve, and the heron embraces the ebb and flow of avian connections. For bird enthusiasts, observing the mating behavior of cranes and herons becomes a glimpse into the intricacies of avian relationships. The monogamous nature of cranes adds a touch of stability to their love story, while the herons changing mates bring an element of unpredictability to the romantic narrative. As the sun sets over wetlands and open landscapes, cranes stand as steadfast partners, their monogamous bonds enduring through the seasons. Meanwhile, herons engage in the avian dance of changing mates, adding a dynamic and ever-evolving layer to the bird-watching experience. Nesting Grounds Crane's Cozy Ground Nest vs. Heron's High-Rise Tree Living In the avian real estate game, cranes and herons choose their nesting grounds with strategic precision. Picture this, a tale of two nests, where cranes opt for a cozy ground nest, while herons indulge in the luxury of high-rise tree living. It's a housing choice that reflects not just their nesting preferences but also their social dynamics in the avian world. First, let's explore the world of cranes. These majestic birds prefer to keep their nests on the ground, creating cozy nooks amid grasses and vegetation. The ground nest becomes a symbol of stability and simplicity, a strategic choice that aligns with the crane's lifestyle. Cranes, often found near wetlands and open landscapes, build their nests on solid ground, showcasing a grounded approach to nesting. On the other wing, we have the heron, the high-rise enthusiasts of the avian world. Herons prefer to elevate their living standards, constructing nests in the trees and often perching on lofty branches. The nesting chronicles become a visual feast for bird watchers seeking to understand the diverse habitats chosen by these avian architects. Flight Fashion Show Heron vs Crane As these majestic birds take flight, their aerial fashion sense becomes a distinguishing feature. Cranes, with their elongated necks stretched forward, adopt a streamlined and straightforward approach to flight. 
Picture a bird confidently striding through the sky runway. In contrast, herons opt for a more dramatic flair, curving their necks into an elegant S shape, presenting a visual spectacle reminiscent of a high fashion aerial show. It's as if they're showcasing their runway skills in the avian fashion world, each species with its unique flight signature. Social Living Styles – Heron vs Crane The final feather in our cap is the social living styles of herons and cranes. Cranes are known for their cozy, monogamous pairs, often living a more solitary life with their mate. It's a story of two, a love tale echoing through wetlands. On the flip side, herons are the social butterflies of the avian world, opting for a communal lifestyle. They build colonies in trees, creating a bustling avian metropolis where social interactions and community living take center stage. This difference in social living styles adds a fascinating layer to the behavioral patterns of these waterfowl, enriching the tapestry of their avian existence. So friends, in unraveling the top 10 key differences between herons and cranes, we've explored a world where every feather tells a unique tale. From the runway-worthy flights to the diverse social living styles, each point contributes to the narrative of these avian wonders. As you venture into the world of birdwatching armed with this knowledge, may your encounters with herons and cranes be filled with appreciation for the intricate details that make each species a feathered masterpiece. Thank you for watching. Until our next avian escapade, happy birding, fellow enthusiasts. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.